Hey YouTube, what's going on? So in this quick tutorial, we're going to briefly go over compression, what it is, what it does, and how it kind of can affect sounds within your mix. So let's get to it. Um, essentially, compression alters the dynamics of a, a sound. So when I say dynamics, the dynamics of a sound is basically uh, how quiet the sound can be and how loud it can be. So if you have a sound that's say very quiet to begin with and gets louder um, and like let's say it maxes your meter out or something like that that's going to be a very very dynamic sound right there's a lot of uh, space in between its quietest point and its and its largest point a lot of amplitude there so a uh, compressor can be used to basically alter the dynamics of a sound which can uh, translate well in a mix um, and make thing elements a little bit more punchy or kind of bring them out with more clarity um, depending on how you use a compressor your, your compressor so um, if I go into my kick here I have an m-class M compressor loaded up um, just for this example and right now it's bypassed so I'm gonna press play we can listen to the kick okay nothing too special there um, if we go into spectrum analyzer here and check out its frequencies you can see that there's a good portion of energy right here and that's because you know kicks have a lot of bass in them and that's bass right there some of the low-end frequencies um, so that transient that's the transient of the bass basically it's it's hit its initial hit and then the way that the audio kind of tapers off afterwards like imagine hitting uh, a snare drum there's an initial snap right and then it kind of rings out afterwards transients are what make sounds different and um, with compression you can basically alter the transient so um, if I had uh, let's say somebody playing acoustic rhythmic guitar and I wanted to control uh, the transients and I wanted them to kind of be snappy within within the mix, and I wanted the strums to be to be light, but um, kind of prominent, but without too much uh, difference in amplitude. So let's say the player wasn't doing a very good job and strummed har harder at one point than another, then there's going to be a difference in volume. If you want to control that volume, you can do so with compression. Um, and so yeah let's get into it here basically you have uh, all of these knobs which are common on almost all compressor that's out there so your threshold dictates when your compressor turns on so negative 36 db if there's a sound that goes above negative 36 db this compressor will turn on then you have your ratio which dictates how much the audio above whatever your threshold is set to is squished by so any audio above negative 36 decibels is going to be squished by at this particular point at least a ratio of four so it attenuates it makes the signal quieter and then your attack tells your compressor when to turn on and release tells it when to turn off so you can adjust these to taste so basically uh, in my scenario before with the guy who's playing acoustic guitar and strumming away if you want the strums to be prominent but controlled you would have a fast attack right you would want the compressor to be on at all points affecting um the way that that he is playing basically the the, the sound that is generated and then your output gain um basically just says if you've brought the volume down you you can bring it back up with your output output gain right and that's part of gain staging and uh, that's pretty pretty important um, so yeah let's get to it let's get to compressing this kick drum so basically it, for, this is kind of a cool trick for beginners you can set the threshold all the way down and you can set your ratio to infinite and your attack to very quick and release quick as well just because we want this to be uh, really prominent the effect to be prominent so be, there'll be a click when I turn this compressor on and we'll, we should actually be able to hear at what point the um, transient of the bass drum so that the meat meaty part of it isn't affected but the rest of the signal is and you can hear that with the click so let's get to it so once I go past about 25 milliseconds there's not too too much of a difference so to, let's set it at about 28 to be safe 29 okay so basically we're we're saying we will let the initial bass bit of the of the drum through and control and control the rest of the signal after that initial hit 
So you don't usually want your ratio this high because that's acting as a limiter. Um, and you usually want your gain to not be too high either because if you have a lot of gain reduction, it means your device is actually working really hard. And uh, that's uh, there's actually a reduction in sound quality when you work uh, devices too too hard, even in the box. So they kind of work just the same way that uh, real real hardware does. Um, okay. So now let's adjust our threshold so we get about negative four gain. That seems to be okay. And now let's adjust our release so that um, the compressor basically stays on until the kick drum hits again, and then it turns off so it'll let, it'll let that transient through again. And you can do that by using your ears, and you can also check your meter to, to kind of have the green dip away right before it hits again. So that seems pretty decent, 205 milliseconds. For example, if I was to turn this up to 600, uh, the compressor is basically going to be on the whole time. See that that green never goes away, so that means it's actually affecting that bassy transient. We don't really want that. So that's okay. And now what we can do is we can gain stage by adjusting the volume so it's back to um, its original its original volume before compression. So use your ears for this, but you know your meters can help you too. Your ears are are the best source most of the time. Okay, so that's about the same. Now you can kind of hear how the, the drum becomes a little bit more prominent, right? There's a bit more uh, body to it. It's a bit click, uh, not well, a little bit clickier, I guess, um, and almost just a bit fuller, really. Right? So you can imagine if you have a lot of other components going on with your mix, how that would help the drum kind of peek through. Um, yeah, so that's the basics of compression. Hope you guys learned something. And uh, if you got any comments or questions, please leave them in the box below. Cool. Have a good one.